Is my gas on? Yes. Here's the situation. Let's have a happy day today, OK, bro? Just have a happy day, Pete. It isn't even closed. Do you see that? How are we going to close it? When I get okay, another okay. door, okay, it'll okay, close. Okay, all right. Oh, Pete. What the f you idiot? Would you say you're a picky guy, Arthur? Don't yeah, start that crap. Those are the guys that will literally put you in the funny house. It's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's where I told him to sand it with that block. If he doesn't buy this car, I'm pretty much screwed. Run over. I bought this piece of now you're taking it out on us. Just do it right. Okay. My name's Pete. You probably know me from my video blogs and my shop. Southwest Ride and Custom. Yeah, that's my wife, Minnie. She works with me, too. She's the one that puts up with all my crazy BS. Yeah! I love this shop. This place is my church. It's crazy here. There's all kinds of oddballs to stop by. Oh, Pete! Pete. I try to help him, but in the end, it always seems to bite me back. But hey, it's the struggle that keeps you going. All right, here's the deal. Okay, it's always a deal, right? That's what I thought when I bought this Mustang. I thought I was gonna buy this Mustang, thought I was gonna go ahead and, you know, make a profit on the car. I've got so much money wrapped up in this thing, I'll be lucky to even break even. I've done major body work to this thing, okay? Lining up all the panels. I even had to do some welding on this car, right? Just to make it sellable. And then to top it all off, this guy, okay, calls to buy the car telling Minnie about all this extra stuff he wants. No extra charge, right? Well, that'll definitely be something that you'll have to talk to uh, Pete about. Hi, uh, Richard. Yeah, hey, what's up, Richard? This is Pete over at uh, Southwest. Uh, hey, Pete. Uh, yeah, I was uh, looking up the prices on the wheels and the interior. We got the tinted windows, the pinstriping, and the top. And the interior guy said he could change the top out for you to a black top for twelve hundred fifty dollars. Okay. What? Did... So all that's included though in the in the price. Hold on. What do you mean included? What do you? Oh yeah, he don't want to pay no extra. He's talking like you know he wants it's it thrown in. It's always about the freebie. It's always he the wants freebie. It, you know, okay? extra. The guy always wants something free. Can you for do free. this too? Is it this Can guy or is it that guy? Is he gonna get it free? Better Hell not. No. Better not. Who said that was included? Yeah, your, your wife was saying that... My wife said what? That all those little extra changes, uh, I thought that was part of it. Okay, first of all, these aren't extra little changes, uh, Dick, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? We're talking wheels, $1,500 wheels. Yeah, yeah, your wife uh, made it seem like it wasn't a big deal at all. My wife made it seem like she was going to pay for it? Uh, she... What are you talking about, Richard? Anything was wrong with that? At the price that I'm selling the car, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, not just for myself, not just for many, but for my bank account, for my business. All right, let me explain something to you, okay, sir? I got this car for sale. If you want to make changes to this car, okay, that's your business. I'll help you out, all right? And I'll get your wheels for you, okay? But I'm not buying wheels for the car. Um, with all this new information, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to mow it over because, uh, you know... I was just expecting that those, those things to be, you know, included. Well. The restoration there. Yeah, all right. Well, all right, man. Uh, I'll have a talk with my wife, and uh, thanks a lot, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. You take it easy, dude. All right. Let me just say it square, okay? If the guy gets too pressy, we will not be selling that Mustang to him. We will sell your car, and you will drive that Mustang. I ain't driving that most time. Matter of fact, you're so far behind on payments on that thing, we'll be giving it back. Slow, slow, Charlie, easy. Fixing up old antique cars isn't the only thing I do around here. I build a lot of desks. I build a lot of car furniture. This Couches. is what you go. This is a rat rod couch. Swing it to your right, to your right. I'm working on the Mustang, and another project falls in my lap. What's up, Les? What do you got, bud? My buddy Les, he wants a car desk. Les finally came over, said he wants his desk built, finally, after a year. Awesome.
come You're going to come back with a check come now? Up with the money, yes. I'm going to do it for him because he's my friend. It's a lot of work, but I really need the money. Uh, I got to pay Chris. I got to pay Charlie. We need to get a check, dude. OK. Not a problem. You know, Les will be the only one in the world that will have a 1957 Dodge Coronet desk. Easy. Just go slow because it'll start turning. All right, everybody push hard. Come on. You should be going in straight if you go slow, dude. Take your time. I got to put a coat of clear on this. Where's your wrench? He got it. No, yeah. that's a ratchet. Yeah. That's No, give me that. It's not easy making a car desk. You, you got to cut the whole front end off. You got to cut the front frame structure off so you have that to support the bumper. You got to weld legs to it. You got to weld frame structure inside the legs. Now I got to put the three ring circus on it. OK, I got Mario, I got Chris, and I got Charlie. <laughs> Really, the first thing we're going to have to do is unbolt this entire front end from the car. Hey, what's going on, dude? What's up, Pete? What the f are y'all doing? And then here comes Pete. Rawr, rawr, taking off this hood. What the hell, man? I told you not to use that. Give me that ratchet, OK? I told you not to use this thing. All right? What's that, bud? What's wrong with that ratchet? Look, dude, yeah. it's 6 o'clock at night, all right? I want to go home, man. He's got a tough personality. Uh, you know, when I first started, he, he was kind of a challenge for me. <laughs> All right, Pete, we can sit here and bitch, or we can get this shot. Yeah, we can. Right. right. That's why you're going to do it the right way and use an air ratchet. Okay. You see? Let's get that ratchet I've been telling you about all day. Wow, bud. You know, a situation like that, it can, it can get stressful sometimes. All right, Pete, we'll get it done. What are you doing, we got Charlie? It, we got it. You know, a lot of people tell me, man, why, he's always talking crap and all this other, you know, you, you can let him talk to you like that. But I know Pete, man. I know when he's serious and I know when he's just jacking around. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know he, yeah, I know when he's, you know, messing with me and stuff. Hey, Pete, can I go at it? No. You can't go at all, dude. looking at this couch saying, wow, that's a bad couch. I would have that couch. That's right. You would have that couch. Well, but you got to be a certain kind of person to want this in your house. Well, then I guess I'm just a rough son of a <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three. It's not as easy as you think. You just cut it out. You slide the desk in. It's really not that easy. Gotta okay. have a lot you gotta make all of the steel. You gotta make inside. all the steel structure. You gotta make the legs. You gotta have the steel. Okay, this is thicker, see? Okay. That means this is heavier. Can you feel the difference? Not really. I was just basically uh, hanging out next to Pete, bugging him. <laughs> I wasn't really working. Is my gas on? It's just time consuming. Everything has to be done just right to get this desk to fit in there, and then it still look like the front end of a car and then function as a desk as well. All right, I need those. I need to grind down. I need them done right. All right, six by six. Easy. I got to give them the simplest thing to do on this desk, cutting the legs, OK? And let me tell you how it's going to go. Chris is going to be cutting, and Mario is going to be watching. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Minnie? Hey, girl. How have you been? How's good, work? Good, good. good. Yeah. Just doing the checkbook as usual. My daughter, Cynthia, is completely opposite from all this clown act going on over here. She goes to school. She pays all her own bills. She's got her own job. She pays for her own car, pays for her own insurance, doesn't ask nobody for nothing, and she definitely isn't a squatter. All right, well, I got the car payment for this month. Oh, OK. So, the car payment only? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have enough for the insurance this month. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay you uh, in two weeks when I get two weeks, yeah. huh? Oh, that's gonna be yeah, I'm sorry. Kinda tight. But I gotta, I gotta get going. I got class. You got and class to go yeah. to. I would be the bad guy. You know, because there's a divorce situation. So, and I'm the stepmom, so I got to be the bad guy. You can walk up to the boy and smack him on the head, and tell him to shut up. But you can't do that to your loving precious daughter, OK? And they get away with murder. Hold on, what's the, well, hold on, what's going on? What do you mean? Um, well, Cynthia's got her car payment, but she yeah. doesn't have her insurance. insurance. What do you mean you don't have any insurance? We got to get that insurance. I know, I couldn't pay it this month. Why not? Because I didn't have the money. 
why can't you pay it? You got an apartment, you got a job, exactly. you're going to school. I have, I have other bills to pay. I know that. I know. We can't pay our insurance until you give us the money to pay your insurance because you're on our insurance to save money. <laughs> Believe me, I know how she feels, okay? I really, really do. But what am I going to do, you know? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and loan you the money. Cynthia, okay, and this goes for my son too, okay? They are very responsible. They've watched me since they were little kids struggle my whole life, dude. That's basically what this is all about. I'm a struggling <laughs> okay? Do you see what I'm saying? We don't have enough money for this bill. We don't have enough money for this bill. Do you see what I'm saying? They use that in watching us. They have learned from that and turned it around instead of continuing it on, bud. What's wrong with saying that? That's the truth. It's OK. Anyway, you see the situation, OK? It's called love, family love, and there's lots of it. Group hug, group hug. You won last time. I want to re-race. Right now? You want to race right now? Let's go. go! This is that Buick we've been working on for five years. Those are the guys that will literally put you in the funny house. I don't even like being around Arthur's cars. It makes me nervous even being around him, bud. At Southwest Rod and Custom, we got a lot of jobs going on. Okay, my main concern right now is getting that Mustang done, getting it all back together, and selling it. And I still got that desk that I'm working on for Mr. High Roller Less. I ain't even got no money on any of these projects yet. So I'm going out of town this weekend, and, and I told Pete this two weeks ago, but I've got to go out of town for my real job as, as a tattoo artist. I called my brother. My brother hangs out up here sometimes, so I've got him coming in for this weekend to cover me. Hopefully, uh, Pete won't end up kicking him out of the shop. What's up, bud? Come on in. What's up, Pete? It's a joke. What are y'all pissed off about? Why are you here? Because I'm filming to work. My brother said you needed me. He was supposed to be here today. He's at a tattoo convention. He didn't tell us he was going to the convention. He sends his Not brother. The last he sends his brother over here, which turned out to be the biggest clown act. It's always him and his Carmen Ghia. It's always come look at this. Like I got all day long. How many times have we looked at that car since we restored it? A lot. I don't know, dude. You're gonna work on something that goes to your show car, your you know, your trailer queen, but I don't I don't need anything. I'm just here to help. Are you, you. sure, dude? That Pause. would really be nice, okay? Really. Although although I do have one thing. What? I got my new engine put in. I just want to race. You know, one thing we got in common, me and Steve, is we're Volkswagen fanatics, OK? We both love Volkswagens. I got a 64 Bug. He's got a 1970 Carmen Ghia, OK? His is more of the sports car style. Mine's the sedan. I don't know why you keep cutting my little Bug down, my 1964 Bug. What color is it? It's, uh, what color is my Maxwell? It's, yeah. it's Shrek green. Shrek green. Why? Because I remind myself of Shrek. I, I'm the Shrek of you my world. You have layers, right? But every time you come over here with your car, we're always talking about your car, bud. I know, but you beat me last it's time. It's like, you so know, I got my car here. What about my car? My little Volkswagen, That's what my I'm little saying. 64 You bug. won last time. I want to re-race. He was supposed to help me work, and he ends up wanting me to drag race him. I want to race again. Right now? You want to race right now? Let's go. Right now? Let's go. Why do you want to race right now? Why can't we do it later this afternoon? Revenge. He wouldn't have left me alone if I didn't drag race him. I didn't want to drag race him. Yep. Okay. Are you ready, Steve? Ready. Are you ready, Pete? So clean. OK, on your marks. Get set. Go. Last time I beat him, the engine he had in it before wasn't a Porsche engine. 
but it was a big engine. It was like a 20 yeah. cc so you, instead so of a 20. So you thought you could just take well, him on the because jump start? It, so how did you think you were going to manage to beat him with that brand new engine in there? Most of the time in drag racing, it really doesn't matter. The shifting of the gears. It's the shifting of the gears. It's the guy driving. You know, how do you get it but out of dump it from first to second? Because I'm not a drag racer. My car's built for cruising, not for speed. What's up, bud? Why you got to do me that like that, bud? <laughs> that car is so slow. Huh? That car is so slow. Hey, mine's a driver, OK? Mine ain't no <laughs> trailer queen like you got, Steve. I have work to do. You need We got list. stuff to do, OK? And then he sits around, and I'm trying to get him to work. I'm trying to do stuff, and what happens? I'm bored. Thought I was going to work. And when I get ready for you, we are, but I'm trying to get these braces in here. Look, we got to get these braces in here before we do anything else. We just hang on, OK? You know, the thing about having these clown guys around here, is you got to basically, you got to watch them do the job for you. What are you doing, bud? Drawing it. I'm just getting really, really upset about it all. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cutting? Look, dude, it's kind of obvious. The ground ain't even on there. OK? The oh. ground ain't even on there, dude. Look what you're doing. You're just melting through it. I was wondering what was wrong. And hurry up with that thing. I need to use it, too. All right. I'm in the middle. I got to get this done, bud. Oh, Pete. You got to be joking me. What? What is this place? Is this romper room? Pete. What the? You <laughs> idiot. Well, I'm still bored. You see, that's the situation we have. We got these guys that come over here that want to learn all this Quit messing with your shirt, dude. I'm I, telling I can you, take you care of it. What? Footy. So we got Mario. I call him Mario the Squatter Guy. Mario, you're okay. learning today, right, bud. You're not it. sitting around. Yes, sir, I got it. What's a squatter? A guy that hangs out that wants to learn how to do all this stuff. OK, okay Mario, if you want right, to come over here and learn how to do this, do it. OK, OK. I call myself my friend Pete because basically that's what I am. If you ask anybody that knows me, I help everybody out. Man. What's going on, Mario? This is just unbelievable, man. I let my cousin borrow the truck, all right? He said he put the damn thing on, on, on park, but obviously he did not. He said he put the truck in park, but I really don't think that's 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 what happened. He got out of the car, he, he opened the door. And the SUV just rolls back into a telephone pole. Do I really care? I don't care, dude, whatever, OK? I need to get this door fixed, all right? You know I don't have any insurance, all right? My wife is gonna get so upset when she sees this man. Right, Look at can that. I talk? Man, all man. right, listen. All right, let's just find a used door. We're gonna paint the inside of the door on it. It okay. isn't even closed. Do you see that? How are we gonna close it? When I okay, get another okay. door, okay, it'll close. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. But he's a hell of a nice guy. My friend Pete can't tell him no, because sometimes my friend Pete likes the company. When are we gonna when get this done? When you get the money, we'll fix it. When I get the money, how am I going to get the money? You know I don't What are you talking about? Oh, so you want me to buy you a door? Listen, you like I said, buy, look, You sit look. over here on your ass. I work. I help you out. You know it. I help you. I'm here every day. Okay. Man, Pete, you really got to help me out with this, man. You know, I help you a lot. I come up here. I hang out. And I mean, I have my unemployment check. If you that's the you situation. Want, you, want, you know how he just keeps talking. He's wow. like, a, he's almost like a swampy. I, he talks a senior. lot. Yeah. Listen. I buy you lunch. You hang out. You're bothering Chris, OK? You got Swampy all up in a frenzy, OK? I will buy the paint. You get the parts. All right, bud, we'll do that. We'll get it done. When are we going to start working on it, man? Jeez. Can it be today? God, man. I can't believe that, dude. These guys look like they just went through the bloodbath of well, they a say horror they movie. Don't. You're using your hand, bud. That's uh, making the job yeah. worse for me. We're going to get that nice, elegant pinstriping, you know. It just flows yeah. out. You know, I got this Mustang. I got a lot of money tied up in it. I got many on my case. I got a lot of work to do to it still before we even paint it. I'm putting Chris and Mario on it so they can block sand it down. 
it's a lot of work prepping a car to get it ready for paint. Getting all the little dings and scratches and stuff out of it. So Pete wants us to prep this Mustang for primer. You know, he told Charlie, hey, get that car sanded. Charlie tells us, hey, he wants you to use the 180 grit sandpaper on the small pad. And we started sanding it. So we're covered head to toe in this red paint. Been working on this thing, I don't even know how many hours, just all day long, just hand sanding this car, getting it ready for primer. And then in comes Pete. What's going on? Hold on, whoa, 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 dude. Why are you finish sanding this like we're getting ready to paint it? I'm getting it ready for primer. OK, come here, bud. Let me show you something. OK, first of all, this is not a primer block. This is a block that you sand. This is a block that you sand when you're getting ready to paint, OK? These guys look like they just went through the bloodbath of well, they a horror it movie. Down. They, were they sanded it down with a flex block and 180 grit. We're using the wrong sandpaper. He didn't want us using this 180 grit sandpaper on these small blocks. He wants us to use 80 grit sandpaper on a big block. Let me show you what, bud. I told Charlie for you to take this block. Do you see? What, is there a difference there, squatter? We got a difference. What do you think? There's a difference. OK. This block, and looky here, bud, OK? Some 80 grit, all right? 80 grit. To get the show car quality finish, this fender has got to be blocked down with a big block. When you're using a block like this, you're using your hand, bud. That's making the job worse for me. We're just doing what we were you know, told to do, or what we thought we were told to do. Pete's getting really just pissed that this thing is already behind schedule. And I hope the clown act didn't sand the piece that I need to use to get the color matched. I'm not even going to go there, because I don't even want to know. I got a guy going to buy this car. We need to get it, you know? If he doesn't buy this car, I'm pretty much screwed. He's the only guy that's called back several times. This guy's coming you over. Bought this piece of now you're taking it out on us. No, I'm not. Dude, I'm trying to teach you how to sand it right. I'm not taking it out and on you, dude. And we're listening. All right, man. That's all I'm asking, OK? Let's do it right. And what do you think happens? Now I'm working. Primer stage. We're waiting for the guy to come over and look at it. Well, I finally got done priming the Mustang by myself. Of course, you know, that's the only way things are going to get done around here. So I figure I'll go work on the car desk and, you know, add the steel that I need to add to the fender to make it longer to match up with the desk. So it really gives you that feel that you're actually driving your car. So what did I say that was, 34? 34, yeah. Making this desk is like, actually, like literally building a car. Well, yeah. Even though this is going to be an indoor piece of furniture, it's from step one all the way to step 1,000 is done exactly. Exactly the same. Like the real car.
This is what you call artistic fabrication, bud. Okay. That means we don't have a plan. We don't have blueprints. We're just gonna be going as we go. This is where our blueprint is. This is where exactly. our plans are. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. You gotta, usually the fenders aren't long enough for the desk. Gotta okay, so you gotta extend the fenders because usually the fenders are round. There you go, hold it right there, dude. So you gotta, you know, fabricate all that. Hold it. Let's try, dude. It's a lot of welding, it's a lot of strenuous work on your knees. Gas on up there, the gas on the bottle. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's good, dude. It's not as easy as you think. You just cut it out, you slide the desk in. And I'm basically gonna just spot weld it and go all the way around with it, okay? Okay. okay. Well, and it's a lot You're of figuring too, because you gotta have everything squared up. Everything's That's right, you gotta, gotta have a nice ball. flat floor. It's exactly like restoring a car, except you're just doing the front end of it, exactly. and you're actually modifying it. Even more so. More so. The desk and the car are going to sit on the floor. Use your tape measure from one end to the other, from that end to this corner. You know, that is the real way to build something, is from out of your head, not from a piece of paper that somebody drew up. And this is the time that you want to cross your fingers and hope it fits the first time, which it usually does. You've literally got to take that desk where it's one. The desk and the car become one. <laughs> Are you a guru, huh? It's going to be a tight squeeze. Hang on. All right, come on. Looking good. Looking good. Boy, that really fits up good. Look at here. I know. That's really good. Look at good. that. Look at that. Perfect. You know, I sure wish Les would come over and bring a check with them. It's a little ridiculous. Here's a good situation. We're trying to get the Mustang down. What happens? You got to go to Arthur's. I got to go to Arthur's. Arthur's is a semi-retired guy that is obsessed with his 1955 Buicks. All right, so what do we what do we got here, Arthur? You got to get this door hung. <coughs> About time. Gee, take it easy, bud. He wants everything to be perfect. They're flawless, mint condition. Don't touch this car because you might scratch it. And today, he's got me attaching a door to his 1955 Buick Century. You walk into Arthur's place, and from the outside, it just looks like any regular warehouse. You have no idea what you're getting ready to walk into. You open the door, and all of a sudden, you just see a sea of all these 1940s and 50s Buicks. Hey, this is that old 55 Buick Century, huh? He's got a few other ones. He's got a nice Mustang, but it's mostly Buicks. This is that Buick we've been working on for five years. I think that's the be most beautiful dash that I've ever seen. Of course, my friend Pete painted it for you. Yeah, right. Right? He spent a week painting that green, didn't he? A week? About a month, bud. Oh, I'm blowing. <laughs> Let me tell you about something about these guys. These guys, money is no matter to these guys, OK? Yeah. These guys are the type of guys, how much is it? $100 an hour? That's fine. I'll pay it, but I want it done my way. Oh, you put a fan on that? Yeah. yeah. The meticulous, I, I see a chip right here, even though it's going to be covered with rubber, and even though it's going to be covered with chrome, we never see it. But he knows it's there. You're telling me you made all this from scratch at your house? All these brackets, bud? Yeah. You would actually think that, well, hell, I'll do a million of them jobs. Those are the jobs I want. That's a little bit crazy, George. <laughs> no, those are the jobs you don't want no. because those are the guys that will literally put you in the funny house with a stray jacket on, bouncing off each wall that you can find. Are you listening to this, dude? I'm hearing This is crazy. <laughs> hey, listen to me close, dude. I put blue right. tape around this door. We don't want to scratch that when we hang this on here, because guess who's got to fix it if it messes up? You do, Pete. That's right. That's right. And all we're doing, I don't even like being around Arthur's cars. It makes me nervous even being around him, bud. We had to uh, line the door up that I still got to do body work to. And I told him 100 times the door is going to fit. Well, I want you to put it on. You had to go a little bit tight. Easy. Yeah. George, you want to help him on the back end? We're just going to slide it on. Hang on, hang on. Slide it real easy. Okay. Out, open so. it up, open it up. There you go. Easy. We don't want to scratch the... There you do. 
is right there. Can you hold this screwdriver yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Down, Chris, down. Hold it right there. There it is, right there. Don't move. You don't even want to bump up against the car. You think maybe a button on your pants might scratch it. Would you say you're a picky guy, Arthur, with your cars? Would you say you're a picky don't guy? Don't start that crap. Come on, bud. <laughs> Be honest. Look, you got me nervous every time I come over here on this stuff. See, when you're working on a car like this, you don't want to use air tools on it. This is like a, this is what you call a con. Now we got a chip right there. You're gonna, next week, I'll be coming back to fix that for you. <laughs> exactly right. All right, everybody slide it out that way. Easy, don't, there you go. Me and Chris get the door hung, but you know what? We chipped the paint on the body of the car hanging the door. And let me tell you something, I will be back to fix that. Dude, I don't, are you really gonna drive this, Arthur? Come on, bud, yeah. be honest. Yeah. What's gonna happen when you get a splash of water on it? I guess you'll have to come up here and clean the bottom for <laughs> me. That's not gonna work. It's back to square one. Well, let's take, I'll have to take it back. All right, you, you need, need to get this thing out of here, right here, You need to I'm get it off right my here, property, dude. man. I'm not getting to nowhere. What's your problem? Manny, come here. Tires. We got Arthur, we got Les, okay? The pain in the ass customers, all right? I don't have time to worry about that. I gotta be on the Mustang, and if I don't get this Mustang done, I ain't making no money, okay? I'm gonna have to put Minnie in charge of some of these jobs, like the SUV, okay? She's just gonna have to do it all by herself. I, that's the only way I can get stuff done around here. Okay. We did have the little mix up on the door. It looks almost right, but the configuration inside the door is not right. Mario, of course, told me it was an O2. When I called the junkyard and ordered the door, I ordered an O2 door, and they sent it out, and it looked just like the other door. And... See, this one's motor. The motor is here. It's configured inside differently, so it's not going to work because we have to switch out the insides. When I took the uh, panel off and stuff, I realized it's not the same And that's door. where my friend Pete should have checked mm -hmm. it out, because I would have checked the VIN numbers. Oh, yeah, okay. right. All right, I'll have to figure out where we bought it, and uh, we'll have to take, I'll have to take it back. The yeah. sticker says O2. I know, I'm the, the one that, I'm the one that got cussed out and hollered at the junkyard that well, was going to charge me for full price and told me there's no guarantee, uh, no I know. refunds. But luckily. We almost got stuck with that door. I know. So, it's back to square one. We gotta get a new door. It seems like we gotta do everything There's always twice. a problem with There's always job. a problem for some But reason. we got it figured out. Okay, so we had a situation with Mario's door. So what, it's not my fault. Minnie's the one that's in charge of it, okay? God bless her that she actually got another door without having any problems with it. But it was her fault anyway! Minnie is awesome. She works so hard. And, and really tries to do everything for Pete. How far up on his cell panel do you want to go? I want to go, look. She really does put herself aside. Whatever Pete needs, she goes, she runs, and, and she'll do it. I'm going to just go ahead and clear it. Okay. It's the fastest, quickest way. OK. I just want to make right. sure before I send it to okay, the freaking more water, Charlie. I do not see how she puts up with Pete. Did you get right here on the bed? Yes, I did, Pete. Yes, sir. Yes, Pete. You know, you can tell sometimes she's just so frustrated, but she's still there just doing it for Pete. You got right in here. Yes, Pete. You got right in here. Yes, Pete. Okay, I just asked a question. I know he appreciates Minnie so much. We did this tattoo of Minnie on his knuckles. He loves her very much, but Pete's uh, nice attitude, sometimes you just can't see that love. But obviously, she knows that they've been together. I don't even know how long they've been together. I want to say probably 20 years or something. Love you. Love you, too. I give her absolute props for being with that man for that long. Are those the new hinges I asked to put on there? Nope. What, what, what are you talking about? I 
can usually calm him down. We're gonna see if they'll work with the hinge. Cause I'll get up in his face. He shouldn't have been in such a rush. So you can't take the tape off the door and all that, huh? Well, let's just hope this door fits. Let's just hope it fits. But that was a good call not to change it and did a good job. See, that's why you're working here. That's why you got this situation. Get out and let us get finished. Don't piss her off, because she'll kick you off the property as fast as I will. Well, there you go. Minnie came through again, just like the champ that she is. She got the door painted. It's drying in the paint booth. Now I got to get on that desk, because I got to get it all chromed out. I got to get Crawford over here to pinstripe it. And besides all that, I still got to collect some money on all these jobs I'm doing. Make sure you use that squeegee so you can see where your scratches are and where you didn't sand. What color is going to be the desk? What has been the final decision? Well, it's going to be cobalt blue. It's going to be blue. pearl white. Ooh, I like that. And blue. we got to get it painted in one day. This is a custom mix of my friend Pete's. Everybody likes this blue for some reason, so we're gonna see if Les likes it. It's, a, it's pretty nice. You gotta paint the white first, then let it dry. Yeah. Then tape off the white so no blue will get on it. All it takes is one little spray of overspray and it'll ruin this white paint. My most exciting stage is when we're all done buffing it and, and we see that, that, shiny that stuff mirror on it. finish plastic look to the paint. I don't know if you've seen the paint job, man, the two tone. He's got knowledge, man. He's got the brains for it, you know. He, he's a perfectionist. We got it all painted, got all the chrome. We need to get Crawford over here to pinstripe. We need to get that pinstriping done because it takes a day for that. Yeah, it dries yeah. overnight. But I think if you get a nice, good, big design on each fender, okay. maybe do something on those uh, airplanes up there. We're going to get that nice, elegant pinstriping, you know, go around the, the two hoard ornaments. I know how to pinstripe, am I right? I'm a pinstriper. You think? Not really. Exactly. <laughs> All this comes out of his brain. He's doing this you know, spontaneously. Yeah, you can't even tell Jimmy the idea because if you tell him, it goes in one ear and out the other. Because this is the type of guy that does it himself. He knows what it's going to look like. It just flows and, out. I mean, it's a total 100% different just with the pinstripe. Now all we got to do is get Les to get over here and give us some money. Up here, you almost hit my wife with your car. Go call a mm, help Get you. this mm. out of here. I'll sit right here. I don't care. All we're missing is the chair. No, actually, all we're missing is the last payment you owe me. I bought that Mustang with all the money I had in the bank. I got to keep the buyer interested in it because if I can't sell it, okay, I'm not going to make any money. You know, now it's time that I got to really, really focus on getting it wet sanded. What the hell? Who's that? I don't know. What we got is we got society out there that finds a nice guy, or finds the mom and pop shop, let's call it. See, mom and pop, do you get it? OK, it's a never ending story of the guy that wants the freebie, OK? He's the pull-in guy. He's got flat tire, don't hit the car. <laughs> At first, I was laughing because I thought it was a joke. I thought he was joking with me. It's got flat. And yeah, I see that flat, bud. That What's flat up? On the other side, do you got any tires? You got two flats? Two flats, dude. Can you help me out or not? Let's see what we got, man. I that can't was believe really it. weird. But is it really weird or does it happen all the time? I mean, two flat tires at let's the see, same three time. To, you know, I ain't got no tires and wheels that are just going to fit on your car, bud. Dude, I got a flat 
This is a car shop. Looks like, hey, maybe you can help me out. Can you help me out or not? I just need some help, dude. You don't help out a scooter bum black trash guy. I here, can help but... you out, but I'll take on, it man. easy, all right? I don't know why I you're know pissed you ain't at no me. you no yuppie cat. I can tell by them tattoos on you. Come on, dude. Calls me a yuppie? Calls me a yuppie, bud. It... <laughs> I can't give you the tires off this Mustang. I got it for sale, dude. How much is it? I'm asking 14 for it. 14 dude, you're freaking nuts, 14, dude. 850. Huh? That car ain't worth what three, are you talking that about? That car ain't worth three grand, dude. And then he insults me on the Mustang. It says it's a piece of... Why are you coming off of me like a... Man. Dude, you're, you're asking me. You're trying hold to on a minute. Dude, you're asking me how much. You come up here, you almost hit my wife with your <laughs> car. Okay. Dude, you I come over. Hold wife. on a second, bud. You're cutting my work down. You come in my place of business like you're somebody, and you want, you know, you come in here. Hey, I need some tires. I need this. You treat me like a piece of. Why would I even want to help dude, you out? I think you need to get your car. Get the on. out of here. Okay. Dude, where you am I gonna go, man? My where am I gonna go, dude? Where I don't know where you're gonna go. I got two flat tires. I ain't going, dude. I ain't going nowhere. You, you can't help me out, dude. Then I'm gonna park right here, block all your freaking company or your traffic, whatever. Just block the business. What are you talking about? You're a freaking idiot, bud. He was gonna let you call the police, too. Look, dude, okay? I'm not helping you with your car. Come on, right? dude. You, you need either to get gonna this help thing me out of or here, just gonna dude. sit right here. You need to I'm get gonna it sit off right my here, property, dude. man. I'm not getting to know where I'm going, dude. I got two flat here. tires. I ain't going to. Get over here. This little guy won't leave. All I need is okay. some help, dude. Yeah, you need to get, go call us. How about some help, Get dude. this out of here. How about some I ain't help. with you, dude. Cops made two right. times. Oh, man, man. y'all and me. I'll sit right here. I don't care. Don't matter to me. He might be a nice guy underneath. He probably had a bad day, but it really I, I almost grabbed his and threw him off the property. I guess he called his wife to come get him. Yeah, I saw her come pick him up. It's kind of chaos generally a circus. Speaking of wives, okay, I sure hope Mario's wife doesn't find out that we actually replaced the door on that SUV. And I gotta say, my wife, Minnie, did an awesome job replacing the door, painting the door, and getting it ready for delivery. Oh, man. Hey, Mario. That thing was really good. It came out good, huh? Yeah. You can't... Can't even tell. Yeah, we fixed it. Did you blend the paint we, like it was supposed to? Yeah. I mean, I saw it. It looked pretty good. It came out nice, you know. It shuts real good. Yeah, it looks good. But Mario paid for the door and the supplies? Yes. Here's the money that I owe you and, uh... Okay, cool. He didn't just pay for the door. No, he, he paid... He played for the clear and the tape and the paper. Calm down. He paid for the All whole right. job, yeah. Hey, you know what? I really appreciate you helping me out, I Minnie, mean, really. Hey, no problem, you know, no problem. Uh, no, I wouldn't ahead. let your cousin okay. drive the car. I won't, I won't, not anymore. I know, I know that. No, go ahead, man. Jeez, OK. Well, uh, thanks a lot. Thank you, man. All right, we'll see okay. you later. All right, thank you. Uh, All right, Charlie okay. Dix. Later. My wife didn't even find out about it. That's how That's how good it looked. So I didn't even tell her. I told her I was going to let my friend borrow the truck, and that was it. <laughs> so Mario's a nice guy. He turned out good, you know. Is he going to come back? I'm hoping of he'll find a job. Of course he will. He's a squatter. But he'll probably be don't here in tell an hour. I actually enjoy his company. I hope he doesn't find a job. He really is a nice guy. Oh, you shouldn't say that. My way or the highway? Well, is the highway sunny? What does that mean? It means you f***ed up again. <laughs>
Hey, Pete, so what's going on? Looks Not like much, uh, bud. How you like it? I like it. You like it? I like it. Did you see the look on Les's face when he saw it? Well, you know how he is. He's going to be a smart Oh, anymore. he was not. He was ecstatic, I man. Know. I hate to say it. I mean, I think it turned out better than yours. Come on, Les. Oh, come on. Man. Really, I think this one is uh, looking better than yours. I'll tell you what. I like my desk. You like your desk. Now we both got a car desk. You know, Les will be the only one in the world that will have a 1957 Dodge Coronet desk. Cobalt blue paint. We got pearl white on the bottom, bud. We got all the chrome. I mean, you can't ask for more, Les. Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. We it kept really the original. That's the original mirror, bud. Re rear view mirror. Looks beautiful. Pinstriping, nice. too. Don't forget about the pinstriping. Really kicked it off. All we're missing is the chair. No, actually, all we're missing is the last payment you owe me. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. What do you think, huh? I'm thinking cash, bud. I'm thinking I like that. Shake your hand, make a friend. How do you say that in Polish? Dobregonia. The big and ya. The All right, ya. All right there you go. <laughs> Take it easy, Les. <laughs> Wish I had more orders for stuff like that. Me too. <laughs>